Hello, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. This is our 11th Build of the Week video where we demonstrate an interesting Path of Exile character build that one of our players has submitted. Today's character is a level 63 Righteous Fire Marauder called Palava Costaya, which appears to mean Burning Avenger in Finnish. Before I go into detail about how this character works, I want to explain what the Righteous Fire skill does. Our design goal of the skill was that the player would set themselves on fire to massively increase their spell damage. We tried a few versions internally and found that the one that was the most fun was where you suffer a large amount of fire damage each second, receive a giant boost to your spell damage, and monsters nearby also take some portion of the fire damage. This effect lasts until you're on one life, at which point it stops. It's meant to be a trade-off of putting yourself in extreme danger in order to do extreme damage. The ring of fire that burns nearby enemies was more of a thematic afterthought that helps keep melee monsters from hurting you while you're on low life, rather than a way of clearing levels. Without any fire resistances, the skill will reduce you to one life in a single second. The more fire resistance you get, the longer you can sustain it. This Marauder is designed to use that close range incineration to kill monsters. Because the fire damage is based on your maximum life, his most important goal is to get as much life as possible. Because the fire damage that he takes is affected by fire resistance, his second priority is getting as much fire resist and maximum resistance cap as he can. Between his items, passive points, flasks, and auras, he manages to achieve a maximum of 97% fire resistance. His third build priority is maximizing life regeneration to counteract the massive loss of life and so that he can tank better. Given the goals of maximizing life, fire resist, and life regeneration, it's pretty easy to see why he made the passive and gear choices that he did. On his passive skill tree, he pretty much grabbed all of the life nodes that he could reach. His journey took him far afield, but yielded somewhere around 313% increased life and a lot of additional life regeneration. Other important passives were the increases to maximum endurance charges and the extra 5% maximum resistances. In terms of items, he uses an impressive set of four unique items, which is a sure sign of a very niche build. The most important one is the shield, Safel's Frame, which was designed by one of our diamond supporters and adds 5% to his maximum resistances. Ambu's Charge is another diamond unique which grants considerable life regeneration when on low life, among other useful benefits. Redbeak doubles his damage when he's on low life, as well as providing additional life on the weapon slot. Araku Tiki, which some players have described as the worst amulet in the game, is almost perfect for this build because it adds fire resistance, life, and two life regeneration mods. All his other items add as much life and resistances as he can get. He has two life flasks that both double his recovery when used on low life. He has two ruby flasks that provide very large boosts to fire resistance and maximum fire resistance. His final flask is a dowsing flask which puts out fire. This one can be used to turn off the righteous fire skill to conserve life when he runs out of monsters. The player initially built this character before we deployed the bug fix that prevented auras from working when their gems are not in active items. He had some of his auras on his alternate weapon slots. When preparing this video, the copy of the character that I was looking at had not yet been updated to move some of his auras to his active items, so I fixed it up myself by re-rolling some sockets and links on his active items. This didn't actually change the real copy of his character on the beta realm, of course, just the one that I'm filming within our office. I think I used a total of around 10 fusings worth of value to make the improvements. He had plenty more than this in his stash. The auras that he's using are Determination, for armor, Clarity for mana regeneration, vitality for life regeneration, and purity for resistances including the precious maximum resists. All of his auras are linked with reduced mana cost support gems so that they reserve less mana. In total he reserves about 90% of his mana orb, leaving just enough mana to cast one spell at a time. The clarity aura provides sufficient mana regeneration but itself has a mana reservation cost that is 50% larger than his entire mana orb. He instead supported it with a blood magic support gem so that it eats a small portion of his life. Many characters would hate to give up 483 life, but this represents only 9% of his total life pool and completely solves all of his mana issues. The Enduring Cry skill is extremely useful to get additional resistances to push them to their maximum values. Due to the Ambuse charge unique, the Endurance charges are also shared with his party members. The player has the Whirling Blade skill linked to the life gain on hit support gem, so that he gains life as he travels through groups of monsters. This is useful for positioning in combat, and also as supplementary life gain. One of the neat things about this build is that with Righteous Fire off, it's amazing at tanking due to its high resistances, life, and life regeneration. I was extremely impressed by this character. It required a lot of pieces to fit together, and it honestly took me quite a while to fully understand how it all worked. 
We never intended people to be able to kill monsters so effectively with Righteous Fire's Ring of Fire, but I was very glad that this player was able to make a character that could do it. Path of Exile will enter open beta later this year. If you'd like to get access to the closed beta right now, please buy a supporter pack from pathofexile.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.